What's going on guys? This is Jesse with JTS Woodworking and in this video I'm going to show you how I built three personalized piggy banks. So let's get to it. All right guys, so the first thing I did was I took this piece of cherry and I just started um, cross cutting it, I think about six inches wide. I just go through this whole panel. Uh, it was enough to make three piggy banks, which was perfect. And now I'm using the table saw to get it to its final dimension. Please guys, um, don't do this. I, Looking at this now, I realize, wow, that's very unsafe what I'm doing not using a push stick. I don't even know where my riving knife is. So um, I did have a slight accident um, <laughs> during this build and ever since then I've been really upping my safety. So, and we'll talk about that later. Anyways, here's the glue up. So I got um, three sections here, uh, just gluing up these panels like this. And then to save time, I'm going to be putting them all um, in these clamps at the same time. So just applying glue where it's needed and then not applying glue in between these blocks obviously putting them all together again this will save time make sure everything's as even and as flush as possible wipe any excess glue off and we'll let that sit overnight Now we'll take it out. Now we will start to um, put in the slot where the money goes. So I figured this would be easiest to do while these were still square and still, um, you know, these cube blanks. So I just put a straight bit in there in my router table and I just raise it up ever so slightly for each pass until I had a slot that was, well, seemed deep enough for me. Now I am finding center and I'm going to be tracing a circle a little over five inches in diameter and then I will be cutting out any excess there on the bandsaw. Now this is where I had my accident unfortunately and I'm going to share that in another video um, but I want you to watch what I'm doing here. My hands getting a little too close to the blade. Um, I'm moving a little faster than I should. I was in a hurry. And I'll just show you here, right there. Don't do that, guys. Okay, my hand slipped and I did get cut. I won't show you in this video, but see, my hand's wrapped up there. Um, again, ever since that, you know, this was a while ago now, but I've been uh, really trying to up my safety in the shop. Anyways, I am turning it roughly round here on the lathe. Okay, and then I am cutting it down on the lathe to the approximate width I want it, or the approximate depth I want the piggy bank. So I'm actually turning a tenon here to fit in a chuck, because I'm going to be flipping around. And then this is on a different piece, but I didn't show you, I did it on the first one is I drilled this hole, a starter hole to the depth that I want it. And so it will be, uh, give me a path to kind of um, carve away the inside. All right, pull that out and then we can start hollowing it out. Um, just go real slow. I'll show you here. So I just use this um, carbide tipped uh, turning tool. Uh, just go. I just went really slow with it. Um, some of my tools need sharpening, but this seemed to work out well. And I just went up as far as I was comfortable and then marked a line kind of where I wanted it to end. And I just carved right up to that line. And I'm just making this cylindrical. I'm not making it in a bowl or anything like that. So I just had to go in as straight as possible. I'm 
just cleaning up anything on the bottom there. And I'm just checking the depth to see if it's um, about where I want it. Now I am trimming the bottom here opposite of the slot for the money. Um, just made a jig here carefully just trimming a little bit off so that these things can actually stand up on their own. And then now I'm just finishing that up with this oscillating belt sander which really um, worked well. Now um, I'm drilling the holes. I got this piece of acrylic hot glued down, marked where I want my holes to be. Um, unfortunately my camera cut out, but you get the idea here. I just drill these holes into the wood and then I put screws in it to hold it in place. So now the screws are in to hold it into place and I'm just trimming off this excess acrylic with my bandsaw, trying to be careful. And then once this is done, I will take it over to my router table and I will use a flush trim bit. I'll show you. Here's the flush trim bit and it just follows the curvature of the piggy bank and it gets it nice and, and flush with the edge. And then the next thing I'm doing is I'm flipping it around, putting a slight chamfer on the back end of it. And then over to the laser engraver. So these are personalized. Uh, our a friend of ours at church have, have three kids and uh, she wanted their names in the back. Now I'm just soaking it in mineral oil. Starting to look really good. Then after these are all soaked, um, we will let them dry overnight. Okay, we'll just let them dry there overnight and then we'll come back the next day and we will apply a light coat of uh, wipe on polyurethane. All right, so I had to label those pieces of acrylic because they only matched, you know, a certain piggy bank. So I got their names written on them with tape. Just starting to put the acrylic back on after I wiped it all clean. Now these are all dry, ready to go. And these are really small screws. I think they're number two screws. Um, I got the walls a little thinner than I wanted, but it ended up working out. And you'll notice these slots are uneven. So during the turning process, I kind of miscalculated a few things, but they're still functional. And I guess they're, I guess they're unique in that sense. So. It all worked out. All right guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, I built these three piggy banks. It was for a friend of mine at church, a lovely lady. She has three kids and they, they loved it. Um, and it was really cool because I've never done anything like this before. I got to use my lathe, which I always love, but it was really cool. I was, it was something that I, I knew I could do. I just never done it before. And it turned out really cool. Um, the, the holes, the slots for the money turned out a little bit off here and there, but that's fine. I'm actually doing another batch for her, for her relative. Um, and I'm doing that much more consistently, much better. And, uh, anyways, it was fun. So anyways, if you guys like this video, please leave it a like, please comment, please subscribe, and we will see you in that next video. Thanks.